Okay, let's go back to explaining the true nature of gravity. Now we are on to time. The very meaning of time is key to understanding the nature of gravity. For one, gravity is an acceleration. That means it's a change in speed in unit time. And also, gravity acts between mass particles through the vacuum of space-time. So what exactly is time? Well, let's look at a definition. Time is a basic component of the measuring system used to sequence events, to compare the duration of events and the intervals between them, and to quantify the motions of objects. Interesting. But time really, time is intrinsically linked with space in Einstein's concept of space-time, and that this concept of space-time is used in Einstein's special relativity and general relativity. According to these theories, the concept of time depends on the spatial reference frame of the observer and the human perception as well as the measurement by instruments such as clocks, which are different for observers in relative motion. We will therefore find our answers about gravity in investigating the nature of time and space, since in general relativity it is the curvature of space-time by a mass particle which causes the acceleration we see as gravity. Let us start with time and then go on to see how time and space are related. Time is a measure of change. Things move and things interact, and the rate at which they move and interact is governed by time. When things interact, they interact by electromagnetic forces, as in the case of charged particles. And the rate of chemical reactions are also governed by the speed of these electromagnetic interactions. And what is interesting is that light governs all these intellectromagnetic interactions. So these changes, these chemical changes, the changes that we see and experience, all operate at the speed of light. So we conclude that time in this universe does run at the speed of light, and time is change at the speed of light.